really learned to love the uh, Libyan people, especially the ones that I worked with. There were cultural differences, educational differences, and so on, but um, there were things that after a time you got to know about the people you work with, you learn to appreciate them. And um, one of the things is that it's not always easy to talk about personal issues, especially with people you don't know well. Uh, there wasn't a lot of real personal sharing, except for one night. Um, we had been out on a long job. That job probably lasted about 30 some hours without sleeping, without eating, in fact. And we get, got back into our camp uh, probably around uh, 10 o'clock at night. And normally we would clean up our tools, the truck, and so on. But I said to the guys, just head to your cabins. Uh, we'll pick up that tomorrow. So everybody went to, to bed. <laughs> we were all wiped out. Uh, I quickly fell asleep. The next thing I knew, somebody was beating on the door of this trailer that, that I slept in. And uh, I got out of bed, bleary-eyed and wobbly, and I wasn't awake. And I opened the door, and the, the moon was out. Boy, was it out. And there was Abdu Garter. And he was standing right in front of the door. And the moon was shining right on his face. And I looked at him and said, Abdu Garter, what are you doing here? Why are you knocking on my door? And there were tears running down his face. And I said, what's wrong? What's wrong? He said, Mr. Bruce, JFK, your president, was murdered. <laughs> I said, what? How do you know that? He said, I listen Cairo radio. I heard that. I heard it on the radio. JFK is dead. And... I wasn't particularly politically interested in JFK, and I felt bad that he was murdered. That's a terrible thing. But actually, I was so sleepy, it just really didn't connect at that particular point. And Abdelgader shared that with me, and I tried to console him. I, I really didn't understand why is he concerned. I am concerned as an American citizen that our a leader, our president, would be killed but I thought, why is he concerned? And boy, was he concerned. Well, the next morning, I got up, went to the mess hall for breakfast, and it was really kind of interesting, the response to JFK's death. I walk in the mess hall, there are probably 20 guys in there. Most of the workers on those drilling rigs were from Oklahoma or Texas. And um, there was just kind of a lightheartedness about a serious issue, but the guys from Oklahoma said, well, no president would ever be killed in Oklahoma. It could only happen in Texas. It was that kind of stuff. And, and I found that I wasn't feeling real weepy like Abdul Garter was. And in point of fact, I look back on that and I thought, why would he have been so concerned about the death of our president? But actually, most of the people from America were concerned. There was no question about it. It was a wrong thing. But why weren't they as concerned as he was? And again, it's one of these things that I didn't really have an answer for at that time. But later, as I reflected back on it, I think I know. For an American, okay, somebody's murdered, that's wrong, it's terrible. And a president is is no longer able to serve as president, but the way our Constitution is set up, we don't have a lack of somebody to take his or her position. And indeed, that was the case. JFK had passed on, but another took his place immediately. And so there wasn't a lag time. There wasn't any chaos that set in. But for the Libyan mind, if the leader were killed, that would put the whole nation in jeopardy. There would be chaos. There would be people uh, grabbing for power. It would be a scary thing. And what I think I gleaned from this with afterthought 
was that the Libyans understood what a neat thing it was that you don't have chaos as you move from one administration to another. They didn't have that. We do. What a blessing it is to be an American in that sense. So this whole experience in Libya was really an eye-opener. Again, I say it wasn't necessarily what I thought about at the moment, but it was more reflecting back on it that proved to be of interest and very informative and instructional to me.